Today we're going to try out the Shine Armor All-Purpose Interior Cleaner. So this all-purpose interior cleaner is good on vinyl, leather, and plastic surfaces. It's supposed to be non-greasy, leave a matte finish, and also provide some protection for a surface as well. So this product is a cleaner that also leaves the surface conditioned and protected. This product is made in the USA. And another property that I think is really interesting is it's also anti-static, which will hopefully help reduce the amount of dust that lays on the interior. So today we are not going to actually be applying it to any of the Mercedes that you've seen before on this channel. They're always in the garage. They're barely driven. The interiors are always clean and protected. So that's not really much of a challenge for any sort of interior cleaner. However, on my daily driver 2003 Ford F-150, this thing sees nothing but sunlight. It's always outside and I haven't wiped down the interior in over a year and I believe it's been over three years since I've applied any sort of product to the inside. So we're going to try it out on my truck. So when you purchase the product, they ship it sealed so it doesn't spill. So we'll have to go ahead and break the seal, but this is what it looks like. Instructions are right here. Pretty simple. Spray directly onto the microfiber towel wipe the surface and then switch to another folded towel and wipe it off and it's recommended to reapply every three to four weeks as needed for maintenance so here are my two microfiber towels one to wipe the product with and then one to wipe it off all right before we begin let's go ahead and take a look at how bad the interior looks on this so the door panel looks pretty bad it's definitely seen some better days it's really really dry it's never been conditioned of course it's really really dirty so some of this stuff might not come out. Some of this is actually just dye discoloration from the material. Uh, hopefully it gets a lot of it out. But I don't expect it to get everything out because this material is of course just damaged. So this is a, a combination of vinyl and plastic. The steering wheel is all vinyl. The dash is plastic. It's extremely dirty. And then uh, pretty much the same wear on the passenger side, just slightly less. So just slightly less worn on the passenger side, but still pretty dirty so this car sees a lot of sunlight and it's actually kind of a miracle that the dash is intact there's no cracks there's no imperfections in it it's just pretty dirty so when you apply this product it will leave a layer of protection behind to hopefully prevent any damage to the plastic from sunlight all right we got our spray already our microfiber ready and i'm wearing gloves as well just as a precaution so let's get started all right so we're going to use one microfiber to spray the product on and another one to wipe it off so let's go ahead and get started Mix it on and start wiping. All right, here it is after the final dry wipe down. We'll see, it actually is a lot cleaner. It's probably hard to pick up on camera, but this is a significant improvement over what it was. The color is even better. It's just deeper and richer. It looks and feels matte and it's not greasy at all. There was a ton of dirt that came off of here, just like big little chunks that you just couldn't see. So of course I applied a lot up here, but uh, there's just too much sunlight exposure here. This part's really just super, super sun damaged, but it did make an improvement. It's parts like right here versus right there and it got a lot of the dirt off. One particular area is right around the door lock right here. So uh, surrounding this little trim right here, there was a lot of black and I thought that was just the gray paint chipping away, but that was just dirt and this got all off with ease. So I completed the door panel. This is as good as it's gonna get, I think. Maybe a couple more applications will get looking a little bit better. This is the initial application and it feels so much better. And this part is where uh, there was all that dirt. And there's of course some scratches that are just never gonna come out. I was extremely impressed with the results. I did on the steering wheel as well. Steering wheel looks a lot better. Got all that dirt out. And uh, feeling the steering wheel, it really doesn't feel too slippery or greasy. It just feels really clean. And it looks really good too. It's got that nice matte sheen, which is what you want. It's not overly glossy. I did the whole dash. Big improvement feels really really nice so let's take one last close-up of the driver door and then i'll show you the passenger door which i did not touch yet and here's the passenger door that is untouched so unfortunately uh this was the more cleaner one so i'm not sure if you can see too much of a difference on camera but in person it's pretty significant And here's the dash. This was a big improvement. Super, super nice finish. Wiping it down, I did discover that there was a small crack right there. So hopefully this product will prevent it from getting any worse. So you can see the finish looks really good. It's not like super glossy and greasy and it doesn't feel greasy at all. Like I could touch this and my hands are fine. All right, so now this door still is made of plastic as well. I'm gonna go ahead 
and spray it directly on there. I'll go pretty aggressive on this one and see how much a difference it will make. So let's take a look. Pretty dirty. And I'm not going to vacuum, so just uh, ignore all that. But let's check out how much of a difference it makes on this door sill. So I'm just going to spray directly on here, which is against the instructions. However, uh, this definitely does need all the help it can get. This product actually has a kind of a citrus smell to it. It's only when you're spraying it. It doesn't actually leave a smell behind, which I really like. I don't like products that smell too much. So go ahead. And this is already really wet from doing previous applications. So go ahead and wipe it down as much as we can. So of course the microfiber is really dirty now. So go ahead and keep wiping it down and come back with a dry cloth. All right, just completed the final wipe down. That's a big improvement. It's not just about getting it cleaner too, it's about leaving that protected surface behind. So it got out a lot of the dirt. Of course, there's just still a little bit left behind. This is gonna take more than one application, but overall really impressed. So here's kind of the area I didn't wipe down. You can see the color difference there, pretty big. And here's the other side. You just see how dirty it was. Really helps clean the dirt. All right, so now off camera, I'll go ahead and complete this passenger door and this door sill and show you the results. All right, here's the passenger door after the final wipe down. So there was the same bunch of black stuff around the door lock pin that came out. These I could probably get out if I spent a little bit more time on it, but this is just the initial wipe. With the first wipe down, there was incredible just how much dirt came off. And I'll show you in the towel just how dirty it is. But really nice. The color looks really good. That white spot came off around here. I could probably get that out too. Of course, I missed a couple spots, so going over that, we'll get it out. Pretty crazy how much easier it makes to clean your door panel. Here is the passenger door sill. We'll see. Oh, I kind of missed the spot right there, but this made a huge difference. First of all, I wanted to point out just how easy it made to clean it. This was really dirty. There was like a lot of black dirt and just grime on it. Made it super easy. I kind of went against their instructions. I sprayed directly on the surface. You're supposed to spray directly on the microfiber, but I think on dirtier surfaces like these door sills, it really does help make it clean easier. Of course, I wipe it off pretty much immediately and then I went over with the dry towel. This will hopefully uh, keep it clean for as long as possible. Looks really good. So here is my wet cloth. Of course, it is extremely dirty now. Look at all that black that came off of it. This is off the door panel, both sides, the dash and the door sill. The majority of this is from the door sill. Of course, you can tell by all that. And here's a dry cloth, kind of a lot of dirt in that one corner. It's a little dirty overall. The dry wipe kind of gets that final little layer of product off. And of course, it'll pick up any dirt left behind. So that is what the second cloth looks like. I only use these two sides because the wet cloth got the majority of dirt out. Didn't really have to use too much of the dry cloth. And this is how much product I use is like almost at the top before. So I was actually really generous with how much I sprayed. I sprayed a lot and we have a lot of product left over. You definitely don't need to use a lot to get good results. So there you have it. That is the review of the Shine Armor all-purpose interior cleaner. I hope you enjoyed the video. Links will be in the description to Shine Armor's website to purchase the product. So check it out if you are interested. I think it is a great product. I was actually kind of skeptical of this product at first, but using this product today really has shown me what a great product it is and I do recommend it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.